why No Game No Life didn't get a season two from Rabbit Senpai. Give it to us. Time to get your hopes why down even more. Why did No Game No Life ever get a second season? Why? Let's find out. No Game No Life was why? one of the godfathers of the whole isekai genre. Now is that true? I actually didn't know. And uh, my guess, based on what you guys have been saying about No Game No Life, is there was a lot of issues with copyright stuff. The author was like tracing stuff from other people's work to the art. And that's why the studio that initially picked it up wanted to drop it because there's so much drama and controversy involved. I hear that is the primary reason why No Game No Life is not getting a season two. That was definitely not the first. Not by a long shot, but the argument could be made that it is one of the OG animes to help launch the isekai genre into mm. mainstream popularity. After the okay. success of Sword Art Online and how that essentially just took over the- I love this shit. What is this? I, I feel like this is some kind of like, uh, it's a festival. I don't know, some kind of school talent show maybe. Oh my God, this guy's gonna get so much pussy for me. Oh my, one more time, one more time. Watch this, watch this, watch this flip, dude. Look at the choreography right here, ready? Of sword art oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my God. That was two swirls. Over the anime world, <laughs> you started to see a bunch of animes very similar to that start sprouting up. And one of them was No Game, No Life. One of the most beautiful animes that I've ever seen. I mean, mm. just look at some of these visuals. You can't tell me this isn't a beautiful anime. But which is really ironic, right? It's a beautiful anime. Like the art style is really great. One of the things that really stand out about this anime is specifically how the outlines, it's very red, which is something that like no other studios does. Maybe in the old days, back in the day, whenever this aired, they actually did that a lot. But like, isn't it ironic that if my assumption is true, that the reason why it won't get a season two is because the author traced work isn't that kind of dip, like reflective of the art too? Then like all the art that we think is amazing is technically just copied work. Anime. But with it being one of the OG isekais, why did it never get a season two? Was it not that popular? Well, no. not like a lot of other anime that never get a season two just because the lack of interest. There was a lot for this. Like yep. honestly, that's probably like the main reason majority of animes never get a second season. Unless you're getting reincarnated with my smartphone. I have no... It's different now. When was this video made? This is made 10 months ago, right? I think the studios really changed. The culture of anime studios has changed from 10 years ago versus now because back then, good series like No Game No Life not getting a season two, I don't think it was happening. Well, if you exclude the drama, what I'm trying to say is a lot of anime studios recently are pumping out or just season twos for random ass fucking isekais, random ass non-performing anime because everyone is just... They're, the studios are just pump, pumping out as much as they can, right? They don't give a shit about quality. It's just um, as much quantity as possible by outsourcing and doing all this different shit of like abusing, you know, workers and, and giving them shitty schedules. You hear what ha what's happening with like MAPPA and like Jujutsu Kaisen and all this different shit going on, right? Like I bet if No Game No Life aired this current year or like this current era of like this this current like last five years of anime season, and if we ignore the drama stuff, I bet it would get a season two. No idea how on earth that ever got a second season. Those goddamn isekai newbies. Okay, did anyone actually watch the smartphone isekai though? Is it good? What if it's actually good anime? We should check it out. Don't watch anything. Like I was saying, the light novel and the anime were very, very popular. In May of 2017, yeah. over 3 million copies of the light novel were in circulation. And the same year, No Game No Life was the top. Who the fuck is this? This is fun. This is like some... Okay, this is like spoiling future content. Not that it fucking matters, because not, we're not going to get a season two. A 10 selling light novel series with several of its books appearing in the Jibro. top 30 selling volume list. The series ranked fourth in Sagoi Japan's 2015 polls. The manga was also so popular, it reached all the way over to the New York Times. Popularity is not, you know, it's, it's, that's, the, that's the thing. It's like we're not lacking in popularity. There's just some other shit going on. Manga bestseller list. The anime series was also extremely popular with it being in multiple weekly selling charts and in April 2014, No Game No Life was one of the top recorded anime series of Sony's Torn. So, No Game No Life was definitely popular and even to this day you- Guys! Hold up! I just realized Rabbit Senpai has something over here. Do you realize who this is? A certain Ara Ara Ufufu maybe. Look, 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 Akeno's right there. Still see a lot of people wanting a season two and just crossing their fingers that we'll get one. So why then did it not get a season two? Well, Drama. the actual answer is kind of disappointing and you're not going to like it. On April 9th of 2014, that is when No Game No Life officially aired and it ran okay. all the way to June 25th of the same year with it only doing 12 episodes. And season one of No Game No Life adapted volumes one through three it was a of good the season. light novel. And at the time the anime released, there were only about five volumes of the light novel. I 
Are we going to talk about pacing? There's not enough content, but we even had the movie on top of that too, right? With volume six coming as the anime was airing, but they ended up turning volume six into a movie prequel okay, before okay. the events of season one. So after the anime is finished airing, you only have five volumes of the- Really? The reason why I stopped is because after you finish season one in the movie, there's only so much light novel content left, so they just stopped. But but they would have just waited and then once we have more light novel content like right now wouldn't they just continue i thought it was the copyright shit the light novel with season one taking up majority of it so before they can continue making season two they definitely have to wait for the light novels to get far ahead because in order okay. to stay true to the source and not just start making things up left and right they kind of need more source and very similar okay. to school of the dead the creator yukamiya also started to suffer from unfortunate health problems during the series production which is probably the reason why the light novels start to slow down and the what the fuck are there just more lollies as we go bro this show is it not is one lolly not enough we have two lollies now we have four lollies now in the light novel great that they actually came out and why you would also see very big gaps between some of the releases i mean there was like a three-year gap from 2018 to 2021 so the real reason for no game no life copyright season two is just because unfortunate health problems and a lack of source material with Straight season up. one and the movie taking over majority of the light novels that were available at the time it's only natural that they have to wait for the creator to make more and more but with the creator falling sick and what? unable to keep producing these light novels in a fast pace season two was just kind of always in this weird limbo area just I have a hard time believing that because if it's in a weird limbo area, you could just simply just wait for the health issues to get better or more content to come out. I swear to God, people were tr like directly talking about how the author was tracing shit and this became a huge deal. And the anime studios did not want to pick it up because of the controversy it would hold, right? If they were to suddenly start making anime of this work that was tainted by this controversy, it doesn't look good on them. So in order to protect their brand, everyone is like, we're not touching this shit is my understanding of what's going on with no game no life just waiting for the time until there was enough light novels to make a season two and unfortunately it seems like so many years have passed that people just have lost interest i mean it's literally been what? eight and a half years since season one officially dropped majority of people getting into anime nowadays have probably never even heard of no game no life so the interest is definitely going downhill we're going to check the comment section out and I'm going to show you guys what I mean by the copyright stuff when this is done. Now, I'm not saying it'll never happen. The possibility is still there. As of right now, they are on volume 11 of the light novels. So it definitely seems like there's a bunch to base the anime off of. But to me, it seems like the whole thing now is there's just a lack of interest and nobody really wanting to rehash something that's so old. I would still really? definitely love to see a season two of this anime. What if that dream? I swear to God, everyone's just fucking begging. For season two the devil's a part-time i got a second season after almost a decade exactly like classroom the elite two didn't reason have a long time before that too is no one here talking exactly like this person the two old argument no longer holds water for me it used to hold the same blah 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 i think there's a plenty of demand here we go here we go however there is another point that you did not bring up that i think is a large factor as to why no game no life still doesn't have a second season the animation studio no Game No Life was animated by Madhouse, a studio uh, well known for two things, high quality work 90% of the times, and leaving shows to die after one season. So he's just basically saying, you know, Madhouse just basically got tired of it and they just got bored of it and just left it. There is no one talking about the copyright issue about how he was tracing shit. Maybe it's a load of bullshit that he was talking about too. Like wh whatever I read about the copyright stuff. Dream will ever become so. I just don't know. I hope we do. It's one of my favorite animes and it looks beautiful and I have so many fond memories. I'm just chilling in my room, watching it, and just being absolutely blown away and laughing my ass off watching it. So hopefully we hear some word about No Game No Life getting a season two, because with every year that passes... I, I don't know. I feel like this doesn't sit right with me. Or maybe I'm trying to paint my own narrative, right? Maybe I am wrong. But like, I swear to God, if you go like this, No Game No Life, a copyright drama, right? I I, I feel like if you... If, if, why, like... Why No Game No Life season two, right? Copyright drama. I swear to God, there's plagiarism allegations that's been made. Like there's articles straight up made about this, right? People are saying like he was tracing work. So that left people to be like, I don't want to take this anime anymore. Like this, the studios were like, we don't want to touch this anime anymore. That's why it was happening. And who knows how important this plagiarism accusation really was? And based on what Rabbit Senpai is saying about how there's a lack of content initially because the light novel had no, not enough material, combine that with waiting for the material, source material. I don't think there's a lack of demand. In my opinion, I think the demand is definitely there. Everyone is begging for No Game, No Life. But there's some shit going on behind the scenes that people don't really talk about. It's a lot of hush-hush. 
maybe it's a big mix of both. Like in, in life, it's not a simple answer of just one thing or not. I think it's a combination of many things, but I think this plagiarism topic is something that not a lot of people talk about and I wish that he talked about, but it is what it is. Give the video a like if you did. Give a uh, Senpai a like a sub if you did. I just, I just want more No Game No Life, right? Like season one ended off in such a... It, it was left in a state where there was so much more to explore and we were now finally go and do all this crazy shit that we, we had set up. And, and then it's just like, nah, we're just not going to do it. It's just sad, but who knows? Fingers crossed. If, if reincarnate as a, as a smartphone can get a second season, maybe No Game No Life can't.